Katie Geralds was an All-American basketball player at Purdue University. Now she's returned to West Lafayette, tasked with getting her team back to championship form. Brad Brown got an inside look at practice with the Boilermakers. Here is tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. It wasn't supposed to happen so soon, but Katie Geralds has embraced the opportunity that was put in front of her. Let's go, match up, match up, let's go. I was still trying to process, how am I gonna do this, right? How am I not gonna stand up on the sideline? How am I just gonna sit there? Uh, but now I just, you know, feel like I didn't miss a beat. You know, now just different location, um, different kids, uh, but you know, they've bought into to what we're trying to do and the staff here has been great. And you know, like, like we said, I mean, I'm just home. Gerald's was named Purdue's head coach a little more than a week before practice started this fall. Katie left Marion University, where she built an elite program, leading the Knights to a pair of NAIA national titles. The plan was to serve as an assistant at Purdue for a year and take over in 2022. This was going to be the only place that was going to pull me away from Marion. Um, it's not, you know, it's not about dollars. You know, it's 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 strictly about the opportunity to to leave my alma mater. But an abrupt change thrust Gerald into the lead role, and now she's working on rebuilding Purdue into a championship level program. Here you go, balls up on the baseline for me, balls up on the baseline, let's go. My job is to win basketball games, but my calling in life is to, to help 18 to 22 year old women really find their way. Because if you're here and the ball is there, maybe you get a hand on something and it's not a straight line pass. I think the adversity is ultimately going to help us throughout the season. So um, I think we've done a really good job of getting after it, playing hard for Coach Gerald's. And I think there was a lot of excitement surrounding um, just like something new, trying something different. That she rocks good. Come on, Shay. Come on, Shay. See both, me day. See both. Come on, Rick. Yes. Good. Me good, me day. Good, me day. I think that's the biggest thing I learned. Just you know, just paying attention to the relationships and getting to know each each young woman on a different level, not just basketball, right? But if you're here, then as soon as she lives, it's like an interchange, right? She, Ricky's got to go in, then you've got to stay here. If they trust that. I'm going to run through that brick wall the same way I'm asking them to run through the brick wall. You know, they, then good things are going to happen. Obviously, coming off last year, it's not where we wanted to be. And I think this year, it's a fresh start. So um, we just need to keep competing every single day, and then we'll just be where we want to be at the end of the season. The recipe for success is here. Um, but then if you look up there, and the last one is 2013, it's too long. Um, and, and so just that, that constant reminder that it's been too long. Here we go, next group, let's go, come on, y'all, come on. The biggest thing for us is we, we need to make them make them know that we believe in them. Um, so we can go out and just, you know, who knows. You're fine, you're fine, stay here, fix it. Come on, rocks, come on, rocks. You know, as a white collar as I was as a player, right? Like, I, 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 I am actually a blue collar coach. And uh, these kids are, they're working their tails off. And, you know, I, I think if there's a brick wall in front of them, they're gonna run through it for me right now. In West Lafayette, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.